my milkshakes. crazy if this is your first time tuning into this craziness baby get ready to hold on to your seat honey and your weave <laughs> all right <laughs> let me stop playing make sure you hit the post notifications okay and give this video a thumbs up or not because a lot of people have not been getting my videos or they're pretending not to get them but you know i know it's a conspiracy all right anyway are you guys done with your holiday shopping i didn't even store you know christmas time makes my nerves bad but hopefully this will bring a little bit of sparkle and joy in your life <laughs> okay and i'm going to show you how to make hot cocoa bombs yes good y'all know i make everything good and I'm gonna tell you everything you need, okay? So calm down, calm down, sis. Let's get into it. Okay, you're gonna need some molds. Y'all like my nails? Can you see my nails? I got my nails on. Baby daddy got my nails done for me. Got the little shine on the tip and I got matte. She cute, cute. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. So you need some molds. You can get your molds off of Amazon, okay? And then you can get you some cute spatulas. They have these at Walmart and their holiday baking section. You're gonna need some spatulas. And I have three small molds. I actually borrowed these, but we're not talking about that. You're gonna need your hot chocolate. And you can get an assortment of sprinkles if you want. I just picked up that kind. Um, you're gonna need some milk chocolate and white chocolate, or you can just do milk chocolate, it's up to you. And you're gonna need the small marshmallows. You're gonna need at least two plates. And I got the scissors to cut open these things here. You're gonna need a bowl for the white chocolate, and you're gonna need a bowl for the dark chocolate. But if you're only just doing one color, then that's up to you. You're going to need a little bit of oil, just a tiny bit of oil. That's even too much, but I'll show you what you're going to need that for. And that's about it. But you can design and decorate yours any way you like. But it's really simple. I would say the only thing you just have to go above and beyond to get are your silicone, your silicone molds and look for them on Amazon. So you're gonna need one cup measuring cup so we can have a little variety, so we can have white chocolate bombs and dark chocolate bombs. And I will show you what to do with plates. Once you have your hot chocolate in your bowl, you're going to put it in a microwave for one minute. I would stop it at 50 seconds and stir everything, stir, 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 and then put it back in for the additional 10 seconds. If you need a few extra seconds, just add a few extra seconds, but do not over microwave your chocolate because it'll be a hot mess. 
So one minute, let's say one minute and 10 seconds max. And you're gonna stir, stir, stir. And then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, now that we have this out of the microwave, we're gonna stir, stir, stir. And you kinda have to work fast because it will start to get hard. So you're gonna take your spatula, okay? <laughs> you're going to fill your mold. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you don't want to fill it all the way, but you want to have a nice amount. Then you want to get it on the sides. And you want to use the round part to your advantage. You want to get everything on the sides. And you want to make sure it's filled, but not a big pool on the bottom. And you want to take advantage of the round portion. You don't want to be able to see the color of this. I'm gonna pour some in here. That should be enough. Get it. And you pull them up, pull them up to the sides. You want to make sure everything, you have a nice coat. And you do not want to be able to see the burnt orangey rust color of the mold. See how I have stuff here? I want to make sure I cover, so you want to rotate it, cover the bottom, okay? So I got that, I see some of the bottom, spread it out, nice light feathering, okay? I'm gonna do my next one. So I've got enough in there, then I'm gonna start to smooth it up to the sides. I don't want a big pool at the bottom. Then I'm going to put my mold in the freezer and let it get hard. And if I take it out and I see any, you know, anything peeking through where I can see my edge or something, then I'm gonna just tap up my little edges and add more chocolate where I need it. But this is looking pretty good so far. So let's get this in the freezer. two minutes you need this plate nice and hot so while this is getting warmed up nice and hot I'm going to see if my molds are ready and I'm gonna pop them out and put them on this plate so this plate is kind of cold and I'm gonna make this one hot okay so my molds look pretty good there are a few spots I could possibly tap and reinforce but i'm just gonna go for it so this is the part you want to be careful with you want to pull your mold pull it away from the chocolate first just to pull it away first pull it away i'm pulling i'm, pu I'm gently pulling it away pulling it away pull it. i can hear it separating okay then i'm going to lift it up I'm gonna push the bottom up. Up, oh, that one cracked. I got a crack, it cracked. See? And you don't wanna handle these too much. So it cracked. So this one is a no-go. Can't use that one, because we got a crack in it right there. Okay, let's try this one. Up, oh, another crack. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that's why this is great. So when you're making them, you wanna make sure you have enough on your edges. So that's where it comes in the edges. Okay, let's go for the last two. Gonna pull the molds carefully apart. Oh God, that one cracked too.
I'm gonna try the small ones. These look promising. Pull them from the sides. Gently pull them from the sides. Pull them from the sides. Now I have my hot plate ready. So let me open a packet of chocolate. So kind of got to work fast. So this plate is, ouch, this is super, super hot. So I'm going to take my first mold. You don't want to handle them too much. I'm going to take it and put it on here. And it melts the chocolate. Come on, baby. I'm going to fill it with my hot chocolate. Right? I'm going to put a few marshmallows in there or you can get the hot chocolate with marshmallows. Right? So I've got my marshmallows in here. Can you see that? So I filled it with the hot chocolate. Now I'm going to take the top and I'm going to sip my topper on here, right? And I should have had some more leftover white chocolate, but I don't. So I got that nice and melted, right? Ah! Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on top. All right? And then I'm gonna take some of the chocolate left on here and put it on the sides to seal it. And you don't wanna handle it too much because the heat from your fingers will begin to melt. And then you just seal the sides. I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see. And you seal your sides. Yep. And it doesn't, if it doesn't look pretty, that's okay. Because we're going to fix it. I'm going to show you how. See that? So that one's sealed. So I'm going to put my next one on this hot plate. And melt it down. So now we got a little hot chocolate. We're gonna put a little dab of the oil. Boop! And we can get a little shine. Just get that going. Mix that up nice. And then we're going to drizzle it. Like I said again, you can put this in a Ziploc or any type of piping thing that you have and do some cute designs. I'm just going to drizzle it on, right? I'm gonna take my spatula and just drizzle it on. I'm going to pop these back in the freezer just for a little bit to like it's hard and I'll show you the last step. My little completed cocoa bombs sits pretty in here. Okay, here one. Put a few marshmallows in there. You can decorate it nicely however you like. Okay, cocoa bombs by the average person. <laughs> But that's how you make them, y'all. Take your time, have fun, have a cocoa making party, or you could give them as gifts. You can buy the mold, buy the, buy the chocolate, buy the marshmallows, buy the hot chocolate, put it in a cute little thing, get a cute little mug, tie it in some cellophane. You got a cute gift, cute. And then they can make their own with some cute little instructions. We have the instructions. It's a nice little family activity you can do with the family, with the nieces, the nephews, the cousins, and it makes great, great activity for the holidays. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up. I'm about to, I'm gonna put mine in some coffee, honey, because I put hot chocolate in my coffee. Good. You know I make everything good. 
give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit the post notification button, honey. Yes! Until next time, bye, y'all!